and now up next is our ninth bout. It's a grappling match, a one-round, six-minute grappling match between John Stephen Hoosier, the hometown kid from Hearts, West Virginia, and he's going to be taking on the son of our promoter, Keith No, Gavin No, out of Lexington, Kentucky, and as Elijah is going to be going in there for a grappling match. No, is he going? Elijah left. Now he's back. I'm back. All right. I thought Elijah was going to go back in there and referee again. I think we have one, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah. And a very interesting song. Gavin knows coming out to some East Los FM stuff from Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> that's, wow. GTA, no. that's GTA 4 when you hop in the really, taxi cab. Really getting in touch with his inner Mexicanity. Where do we want you to go? <laughs> well, if anybody's played GTA 4, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, this I is thought a, that one was from GTA 5. Well, this is the rematch from uh, – New line cage fighting here the first time we were in hearts, correct? Yeah, Gavin won the first one by guillotine. And uh, his opponent, he's like, he's, I've been lifting weights. I'm ready to go. Let's see what happens. They're talking shit to each other. These two kids oh. are talking trash. He's rubbing the head. Gavin's been working really hard. He trains out of reaction MMA under Rob Nickerson. And he's got a love for jiu-jitsu. He's been competing quite a bit. There it is. There's that guillotine again. There it is. There it is. That's it. He's got it. Oh, oh he got out of it. Excellent. Now let's see Gavin work that guard. Excellent job. Now this fight's gone longer than the first one. That's how he got caught the first time. There comes the sit-up sweep, and he's right to mount. And this is a bad day for his opponent here. Well, do you think Hoosier took, uh, was prepared for that guillotine from the first Apparently fight? Apparently so. I mean, he got out of it. Gavin may have rushed it a little bit from what I saw. Here it comes. He's got him belly down. Gavin's rushing a little bit. He needs to chill. There it is. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Now he's got it. Naked it fights choke. over. Fights over. Fights over. Wow. He's trying to lock it under the chin. Come on, Gavin. Neck crank him to death. That's what you want. Be Loser's mean. trying to. Be mean. He's trying to fight he's out of He's got him this. belly down. He's in a lot of trouble. He's looking to tap. He's getting his hand ready to tap, I think. He's tough, though. Hoosier's a tough kid. He is a tough kid. Gavin's really in a good spot here. I can't see if he's under the neck, though. That's the thing. Oh, Lord. Now he gets swept. Reverse triangle position. If he knew what he's doing here, he could really get a beautiful sub. He's going back. He needs to get the seatbelt grip here. When he goes for the back, he needs the seatbelt grip. This fight's already going a lot longer than the last one. Gavin looks a little bit tired. Both guys a little bit winded here. They're having can fun, see. too. You can tell like, they that they're really measuring each other out. Like, this is a good technical matchup. I, I, I tell you what, I'm very impressed with Hoosier, how, how much he's improved. Yeah, he's taken from the first fight. There he's comes the guillotine it. again. Let's see if he can make adjustments and finish this one. He doesn't need to rush it. Does not have it under the chin. I wish he would go for that ten-finger guillotine. Yes. This is definitely the perfect position. But you know, position it's to do it's it. kind of something you don't see. But there it is. There it is. he has the. See though, his angle's wrong. He's lifting. He's, oh. See how he's lifting? He tapped there. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. I think he tapped. He tapped. I don't. I don't think the official. It seen was it. a phantom tap. He was on the other side of him. He tapped for a second. Man, he's yeah. gonna break his neck though. He needs to fin. Lift your elbow high. Gavin threw him down. This is six minute, one round. I think the winner of this moves you on see to what, the final. Tonight. What Gavin's doing is he's missing his angle on that guillotine. He's doing the same thing Brooke did. Well, You're just lifting him. Right. And you see guys can tough that out. It's not a blood choke. It's just a neck crank. Right. Oh. oh he good. pulls guard. And, like, violently pulls guard. Yes. <laughs> like, jumps into guard. It's like a little WWE move there. He's got a body triangle here. I don't like the body triangle here, but, man, it's effective. He's getting to the back. He's, he's making to it to the, the back. back. And he's going to go for the choke. Beautiful. Now he's going to flatten him out. Let's know. Here it comes again. If he would go to the gable grip and do the short choke, I think it would be over. 
Trying to flatten him out. Is anybody timing this? I don't know, but it's almost six minutes. Somebody ought to be timing this. I think we're oh. supposed to be doing fives. I, it says six on the on Okay. The yeah, on the we're go, yeah, we're going six minutes, one round. Look here, he's working oh, on he's going, going, he's going for the arm bar. Oh, man. He's got it. He's got it. He's, oh, he's got, oh, oh, oh. No, he doesn't. Oh, good. Reversal. That, he could get his arm broken Yeah, right that's here a dangerous really position. Yeah, that is, that back, is dangerous. Back at Gavin's age, I broke a kid's arm right here in the same spot. It's very dangerous. Oh, man. Please, please, God. Just just tap, dude. He, that's tap. Yeah, he tapped. I think, let's see, uh, both guys getting up. That was a hell of a match. Yes, that, that, was, that great. was great. That was Beautiful great. armbar by Gavin No. Nasty armbar. Scared me. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I it, thought he got out of it, and then he he got caught. It's when, just when you're belly down on that armbar, yep. like all your weight comes down on the joint, and it like if you're not careful, it's bad news. And, and it could be accidental, too, not even meaning to, you know. Guys, we're going to take a 10-minute intermission here. Uh, stay with us.